Hi, I'm Lance Burton, professional magician. You know, you don't have to be a professional to have fun entertaining your friends and family with magic. Today, I'm going to teach you some of my favorite tricks from the new Lance Burton magic set. Let's get started. A quick trick with a tissue. It goes into the glass, and by magic, it changes into a dollar. You need a glass and the little plastic mirror insert. It's a double-sided mirror that fits inside the glass. The dollar goes on one side. Keep the dollar to the back. The glass looks empty. Place the tissue into the front half of the glass, turn the glass over, and pull the dollar out. It's just that easy. Here's a trick that'll make you really popular with your friends. A little square box and a round tube. You show them both empty. You use a little magic. And look, candy, which you can pass out to your audience. The secret to the trick is this little black tube. This is the load chamber. Before you start the trick, you load the candy into the tube and you place it on the tray. Cover the load chamber with the yellow tube and cover that with the box. Now you can show the box empty and you can also show the tube empty because the load chamber is invisible because it's inside the box and it's painted black. To produce the candy, remove the box, remove the yellow tube and the load chamber together. And that's the secret. Look, a picture of Peter Rabbit, a playing card, and two rings. You cover the rabbit, and he disappears. To bring him back, you just give a little tap. The secret to the trick is this little false bottom. You peel away the outer edge, then you can stick it to the bottom of one of the rings, like this one. Cover the rabbit like this, and it looks like the rabbit's disappeared, but it's actually right there. A trick with a glass, a tube, and three balls. The green ball goes in first, the orange ball second, the red ball goes in last. Look, the red ball's jumped to the bottom. Look, you know where the green ball is. The orange ball goes on top, the red ball goes into my pocket. And look, the red balls jumped back to the middle. The secret to the trick is you have an extra red ball. I'll use this clear plastic tube to demonstrate. At the beginning, the extra ball is inside the tube, and you just pinch it there with your fingers. Drop in the orange ball, and secretly drop the red ball. Put the green one in. When you lift the tube, pinch the top red ball. Now, to make the ball jump into the center, you do it this way. Place the ball in your pocket, and that's the secret. Kim, you like card tricks, don't you? Look, all the cards are different. I'm going to riffle through the deck. I just want you to say stop. Stop. And you stop me right there on the ace of spades. It goes into the middle of the deck. I tap the deck, and it jumps to the top. It goes back into the middle, and again, it's back on top. I'll make three piles with the cards. I just want you to point to one of the piles, that one. And look, there's your card. I know what you're thinking. I don't take any chances. I'll take the top card. I tap it. It changes to your card. Place it on the bottom, and they all change to your card. Cut the deck, and they're all different again. The Magician's Magic Cards. Okay. The Magician's Magic Deck. Now, when you get your cards, you'll notice that half of the cards are all different. Half of the cards are all the same card. In this uh, case, these cards are all the Eight of Diamonds. Now, before you can perform 
the tricks, you have to set up the uh, deck. Place uh, your key card on the table first, then place an indifferent card. Place another key card, another indifferent card, and keep doing that till you go through the entire deck. Now, I have a deck here that's already set up. This uh, deck happens to be the Ace of Spades as the key card. Now, the other thing you need to notice about the deck is the key card is a little bit shorter than the regular card. And what that allows you to do is, if you flip the cards like this, they look all different. That's because every time a card flips down, there's actually two cards flipping down, an indifferent card and right behind it a key card. So you can have someone select a card by saying stop. No matter where they stop you, you're going to stop on one of the key cards. It's in the middle of the deck, you tap the deck, and it looks like it came to the top. But that, of course, obviously is just another key card. No matter where you cut the deck, you'll always wind up with a key card on top. If you place the key card on the bottom of the deck and you riffle the deck in the opposite direction, it looks like all the cards are the same. A trick with a short piece of rope, a medium length piece of rope, and a long piece of rope. I'm going to use these ropes to hypnotize you. First, I make the ends equal. That just leaves the middle. If you're hypnotized, you might believe that the ropes are all the same length. Rope number one is the same length as rope number two, as rope number three. To break the spell, a little shake, and you have a little piece of rope, a medium piece of rope, and a long piece. The ropes are not gimmicked in any way. The secret to the trick is if you fold the long piece of rope in half and add to it the short piece of rope, they are the same length as the medium piece of rope. Now how do you get to that? Let me show you. Place the short piece of rope into your left hand first, then place the medium piece of rope, then the long piece of rope. Bring the end of the short piece up and switch it with the long piece. That's all you have to do. Then bring the medium piece up, then the long piece up. Pull these three ropes with your right hand and it automatically goes into the position where it looks like they're the same length. This is, this is the situation you have now with these two hooked together. Now you're going to do what we call the false count. You're going to count the three ropes. You have them in your right hand. Pull out the medium length piece of rope and you say, that's one rope. You go back, you leave the medium piece and you take the two together. And you say, that's two pieces. And then you recount this one again. That's three pieces of rope, the same length. Now to end the trick, all you have to do is grab the long piece of rope at the bottom, bring it up, Pinch it together with the medium and the short piece, shake it, and you're back where you started. Here's a fun trick. Take a bowl and fill it with popping corn. Cover it with the second bowl and tap it with the wand. Look, now you have twice as much corn. Level off the corn and magically it changes into popcorn. Here's the secret to the trick. You have a clear plastic lid which fits over the bowl. Fill the bowl with popped popcorn and then put a little butter or a little margarine right around the rim of the bowl. Press the, the clear plastic lid on top of it and the butter will cause it to stick like that. Your second bowl is ungimmicked. Now you're ready to start. Pour the untopped corn into the bowl, cover it with the bowl that has the gimmick on it. Turn it over, tap it with the wand, and it looks like the corn is doubled in size. Push the unpopped corn off of the bowl, grab the clear plastic lid and pull it off and show the popcorn. The clear lid you can just drop behind your magic table. Borrow a pencil from someone in the audience or use your own and make it disappear. 
This is the Magic Pencil Vanisher. It's a little plastic cup that the pencil fits into. It's attached to a piece of elastic. Take any safety pin and tie it to the other end of elastic and pin the safety pin inside your jacket up near your shoulders. Run the elastic down your sleeve and you hold the Magic Pencil Vanisher in your right hand. Place the pencil into the vanisher and when you let go of it, it shoots up your sleeve. A quick trick with two cards, a three and an ace. I place the ace behind my head. What does that leave here? No, no, no. That's not the three. I have the three here. That's the ace. One card is double-faced. The other card has a double back. When you put them together, they look like two normal cards. You place one card behind your back or behind your head, and to make a change, you just flip it over. That's it. Here's the magic money machine. You just place a piece of paper in there, you turn the handle, and look. You can print your own money. Here's the secret to the trick. The two rollers have a plastic tape which runs around both of them. Before you start the trick, load a dollar into the tape. To do the trick, place the piece of paper in one side. It winds up the bottom tape, and the dollar comes out the top tape. A trick with a glass of water, a handkerchief, and a borrowed quarter. The quarter goes underneath the handkerchief. Kim, hold on to the quarter there through the handkerchief and hold it right over the glass and drop it into the glass. Look, the quarter's gone. Where did it go? It's behind your ear. Here's the secret to the trick, a little clear plastic disc. You're going to substitute this disc for the coin. The disc starts out in your left hand in what we call finger palm position. Show the glass of water to the audience and the handkerchief. I'm going to use this see-through handkerchief so you can follow the action a little better. The handkerchief goes over your left hand and you borrow the coin from the spectator. You pretend to place the coin under the hanky. What actually happens is the coin goes underneath, but it stays in the right hand in finger palm position, and you just pick up the clear disc and you ask the spectator to hold on to it. They think they're holding the coin. Position the coin over the glass and ask the spectator to drop the coin. It goes into the glass. It looks like it's gone. Now remember, you still have the coin in your right hand. You reach behind their ear and reproduce it. Kim, I want to show you the rabbit trick. Well, they're not real rabbits. They're just little sponges cut out in the shape of rabbits. Hold your hand out like that. I'm going to hold Peter Rabbit, and I want you to hold Gladys. That's his wife. Hold real tight. Uh, Peter Rabbit's at the top of the hill. He wants to go visit his wife, but he doesn't want the nosy neighbors to see him. I make him invisible. He jumps into the rabbit hutch. Did you feel anything? No. Slowly open your hand up. And look, you have both rabbits. <laughs> now look, I'll do it again. Uh, this time I'll let you hold Peter and Gladys. Squeeze real tight. One will jump from your hand into my hand. Count to three out loud. One, two, three. Oops, it didn't work. Oh, oh, I know. You forgot to say the magic word. Say, Peter Rabbit, go to town. Peter Rabbit, go to town. Slowly open your hand up. Oh, look. Baby. They had baby oh, rabbits. Oh. That's the rabbit trick. <laughs> I saved the rabbit trick for last because this is my favorite trick. It also requires a little more practice than some of the other tricks in the set. You get the two uh, big rabbits, the mama and the papa, and you get four little baby rabbits. The baby rabbits place in your right pants pocket. We'll come back to those in a little bit. Now, there's only one move that you have to learn to do this trick. It's called a false transfer. In other words, this is a transfer when you place the rabbit from your right hand into your left hand. This is called the false transfer. You pretend to place the rabbit from your right hand into your left hand. It's actually here, still in your right hand. You just close the left hand, 
and it looks like you've placed the rabbit in the hand. So when you do the performance, this is what you do. You do the false transfer, you immediately pick up the mama rabbit, place that into the spectator's hand. You're actually placing both rabbits in the spectator's hand. You tell the little story of Peter Rabbit wanting to visit his wife, show your hands empty, the spectator opens their hand and there's both rabbits. Now while the spectator is reacting to that, you slip your hands into your pockets nonchalantly and you take out the baby rabbits, just sort of pinch them together in a little ball. And you say, look, I'll do it again. This time you hold both rabbits and you pinch the baby rabbits there in between the mama and the papa. You hold both rabbits, one will jump from your hand into my hand. Count to ten, count to three, whatever you want to do. You show your hands, it didn't work. Say the magic words, Peter Rabbit, go to town. The spectator opens their hand and there's the baby rabbits. Now this trick you won't be able to do after a few minutes practice, but if you'll practice it for 15 minutes every day for a week, you will be able to do it. And I guarantee you, it's a trick you'll do for years to come. Well, thanks for watching. You know, I got my first magic set over 30 years ago. I always enjoyed performing magic for my friends and family. And what started as a hobby eventually became my profession. Now remember, you don't have to be a professional to have fun with magic. As you're learning these tricks, practice them in front of a mirror. That way you can see the trick exactly the way the audience will see them. And don't forget the most important thing. Have fun. If you're having fun, so will your audience. Good luck.